Right, so good, good day everyone. I'm Coach Pio Salon and I do this uh, video podcast with different sports personalities from all across the Philippines. Um, you've heard me talk about Kintong Alay with different coaches, different personalities in sports. Um, joining me today are um, two, people, two people I've known from the past and um, they're good guys and now uh, it seems that they're head of a very promising um, venture for our Philippine sports, the National Academy of Sports. Uh, joining me today is the Executive Director of the National Academy of Sports, Mamjoy Reyes, who's also a former faculty member of the University of Sports Science in Santo Tomas, and Coach Bong Arroyo, the Deputy Executive Director of the NAS. Uh, Coach Bong was the guy who certified me for uh, defibrillator and um, CPR when I took my CSES. So this was around 10, 11 years ago. So, uh, Ma'am Joy, Sir Bong, thank you po for uh, indulging my invitation again. Um, how's everything po on your end? Hi, hi Pio. Of course, uh, thank you for inviting us. Ano. Um, this is such also an honor for us to, um, as, you, as, as you mentioned about the National Academy of Sports, we are really very happy to share also what's happening now, what's going on. And I know this is just a question to one. I know it's a free flowing uh, discussion and, and we are happy that uh, you gave us also this opportunity to share to the public and even maybe to your friends or, or to the sports community on how we, we are you know, at this level where the National Academy of Sports is. Thank you, thank you, Pio. Of course, yeah. uh, I'm also happy that uh, Bong is here uh, joining us uh, in this, uh, in, your, you know, in your segment. Thank you, Pio. Thank you, thank you. Um, Coach Bong, I just want to ask, um, how, what's the vision for NAS and how did this entire project originate? Good morning. Good morning, Pio. Thank you for inviting us. It's an honor to be here, as E.D. Joy said. Uh, well, to answer your first question, uh, the NAS actually was, uh, uh, the, the, the concept behind it is, could be traced back maybe even 10 years or more ago through efforts in the Department of Education and several uh, uh, efforts by members of Congress. And uh, it found a very strong voice and a strong proponent in the current uh, Congress, uh, Senate, and House of Representatives. So it was uh, able to take off and be passed as a law, RA11470, created NAS uh, last June 9 in 2020. Right. So, uh, but you could trace its roots further back to uh, the uh, Sport Institute or, uh, or something related to it, uh, even as far back as 10 or more years ago. So it has been uh, in the back burner for quite some time. And we, E.D. Joy and I, are just fortunate that uh, the, you know, we're given the opportunity to, to execute those plans in NAS. So I'd like to ask um, E.D. Joy, uh, what are the programs uh, being offered um, with the NAS now? I'm um, Programs of NAS. Uh, Pio, I think my yes. signal is not, my signal okay. is kind of unstable. I am sorry, it's but okay. I did not hear your, your, I did not hear clearly right. your question. Yeah. Um, what programs are being offered by the NAS um, now? Um, okay. Um, uh, it was mentioned uh, kanina, no, ni Didi Bong, that uh, yeah. I just want to to say this again, that um, the NAS is created through RA 11470. And uh, our program is obviously anchored to what the, the charter is all about. But since we are mandated to have a, a um, you know, world-class um, uh, quality of education at the same time, providing them with prop, uh, education and uh, sports training. So most of our programs, are are in sync to that mandate. No? Uh, we would really want to establish a harmonized uh, quality and enhanced academic education 
and sports for its uh, for for our uh, student athlete scholars. And um, since you know you know Pio, since we are we are given this mandate no for an enhanced uh, second secondary education integrated with a special curriculum on sports, then. Uh, we are already uh, we we are deemed to implement this kind of uh, educational system and uh, institutionalize this no as as we move forward and uh, right now currently we are serving grade seven and uh, uh, next year no so meron na kaming grade eight no and we are happy that we are progressing so so yun yun so. That is really the you know the targeted program is for us to uh, we, we follow the mandate and and this uh, and this that uh, and and this mandate is again uh, for us to implement quality and enhance secondary education. And, and um, this is from grade seven all the way to K twelve. Yes, that's that's correct. That's from grade seven to grade eight to to grade twelve. So. Grade 12. Uh, now we have grade seven, that is our yeah. pioneer batch. Mm -hmm. And uh, next year, um, I mean, you know, for the next school year, we have two batches already, grade seven right. and eight. And that's why we are now preparing for, for the admissions of the, right. of the new batch, no? And another, another set of uh, grade seven. And this is all now happening face to face. Uh, the, the students are in the house. Uh, okay, the, you know, we are doing now mostly remote, remotely, no, um, as a virtual parent, but uh, we have plans of uh, doing a face-to-face. -face, um, Pio, let me know if I'm still okay because it's yeah. bugging me that I have an unstable okay. uh, internet. It's, it's still okay. Um, it's still okay. Anyway, may backup ako kaya kaya si Bong. So, um, so sorry. Uh, what was your question again? Um, is it being offered face-to-face -face -face now? Yeah. Is ah, it yeah. offered face-to-face? Okay. -face? Yeah, we are, see, since um, looks like the situation uh, right now, you know, with with, uh, with our pandemic situation, mukhang nag-ano na, no? mukhang mag-level one na ata tayo. So mm -hmm. the the chances of having face-to-face -face this year would be uh, medyo mas, mas positive, you know? In fact, uh, before we really head on to a face-to-face -face classes, we will still be piloting. I, I would suggest that we will still be piloting the face-to-face -face, uh, just to give us an evaluation kasi medyo matagal talaga. No? It's been almost two or two and a half years now walang walang face-to-face. -face. So we just want to pilot first no? by um, by July or August. Ipapilot muna namin yan. And then... Um, Pilot to some students. So I'm not. We are. We are not uh, piloting the whole. The whole uh, grade yeah. seven now, or the incoming, but we will be uh, only selecting some students who can, you know, we can manage at the same time those who are within yeah. the NCR, and um, I am sure this will be uh, mostly mostly attended by nasa region three kasi ang NCC. Mm -hmm. So ipapilot po na namin to, and then uh, we will evaluate and assess no kung ano ang magiging um, you know, problems encountered, if we are really ready yeah. to, to do a face-to-face -face classes, then this will already be in transition to the, the opening of the classes on August or September. Right. Uh, yeah. I, I just want to say I don't want to be in your shoes. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure it's a very exciting and uh, stress, stressful few months I had, you know, coming from the pandemic. And it's a new project, right? And um, I, 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 if I may ask, how many um, students um, per year level? Um, Sige, siguro I will give that to Bong to answer that yeah. question. <laughs> yeah, okay, Joy, thank you. Uh, our first uh, batch of grade seven students, uh, we have 63. 63. 63. And uh, we have a very good uh, teacher to student ratio. One is right. to 16, oh, wow. so it's an excellent uh, ratio that allows us to provide uh, personalized instruction, also mm -hmm. with our coaches, uh, in our, with our coaching uh, sports coaches, we actually have a, an even smaller ratio uh, as we deal with the online uh, remote uh, 
training methodology and the uh, online modality for classes. So uh, we hope to increase that to about a ratio of one is to 20, one teacher to 20, which is uh, still excellent and uh, at par with international standards. Uh, so probably 80 per batch to somewhere 100. And as we go along and as resources are also uh, optimized, we will yeah. be able to determine uh, you know, the best uh, number per batch, whether that reaches 120 or even up to 150. But our facility is designed for 150 per batch. So that's around still under construction. 900 students. Yes, when we have uh, the full uh, campus built with uh, senior high, it could be anywhere from 600 to, to 900 students. And um, so if it's an academy of sports, um, what sports are taken into the National Academy of Sports? Because I'm assuming, you know, you, you have to select specific sports no? that's really possible to host. I don't think you can host like go-karting, you know? so as much as we want to maybe. But uh, what specific sports for you as a program? Didi? Would you like to take the okay. question? Yeah. Sige. Okay. Uh, you know, Pio, we, we, we started with eight focus sports. No? Um, ano ba itong mga eight spoke, uh, focus sports na to? Since there, there's already an existing um, uh, world-class facility in NCC, which uh, I'm sure you know that, you know, this has yeah. been uh, used during the, the hosting of 2019 SEA Games. Ito yes. yung... Um, uh, what's this? The the athletic stadium. So obviously right. we'll we'll be accepting uh, athletics, no? Uh -huh. And then since there is also an existing facility on the aquatic center, then that's the right. second sport, no? So this is aquatics, and uh -huh. then um, we'll have taekwondo, no? Right. Um, mostly uh, martial arts. We have taekwondo. Yeah. There's judo, and then yeah. uh, racket sports like um, what's this? A uh, badminton. Uh, table tennis, uh, weightlifting, mm -hmm. and the last one is gymnastics. Right. So even this year, no, even this year, we will still be focusing on those sports. No, um, right. uh, yun, yun muna para we just want to maximize the the talents, no, uh, uh, of the sports. But we are not uh, limiting naman others, no, others na, na merong na meron silang expertise or they have talent, no? We are not limiting yeah. them to apply, no? Kasi there is always a, a uh, an opportunity also to expand, no? Our our sports. So, but uh, we are for for now. Ito mo ng eight focus sports. Then eventually, no? As we in in the in the future, then we will be adding more sports, no? Of course, nagde depend pio, you know, naman nagde depend lahat sa budget. Uh, we cannot just add and add and add without also considering the space that we have in the in the complex. That's okay. Yeah, to add to that. Sorry, uh, yeah. sorry about uh, my, my ice maker lang. Uh, uh, so so I know yung so yun yun no? it, it really depends on the budget. Of course, we cannot really work on something without considering budget and space uh, yeah. in in the in the in the complex no right. uh, as much you know, who, who doesn't want to to include all no if if yeah. pwede lang no kaya siguro yeah. kaya siguro nag kaya talaga merong kaming uh, tinatawag na na satellite campuses because for right. those who have um you know um, um not not not, uh, not limited to only here in NCR um, in the Visayas region or 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 uh, Mindanao region kung meron mga yeah. testing facilities ngayon that they can offer you know, uh, that uh, can conform also with the standards of NAS then we will know uh, that will be in the talks that will be a uh, work in progress no so right. but for now uh, focus muna tayo sa NCC right right yeah. and um yeah, I, I'm just curious. You mentioned because budget. Um, I, I know for UP, the budget per semester per student is 180,000. Um, 
with the Cebu Normal, uh, well, with the Philippine Normal U University na sa, I think it's 75,000 per semester. Uh, it comes out from the government. Um, if you don't mind me asking, how much is the government allocating per student for the National Academy of Sport? Well, well, we do have a range. No? And uh, uh, being a uh, state uh, school, you know, I'm uh, attached agency to DepEd. Um, the, the tuition is, is equivalent to, uh, to, of course, uh, what you have as uh, attached agencies like the Philippine High School for the Arts and the Philippine Science High School. So that could be anywhere between 35,000 to around uh, 80,000 for, for tuition. Mm -hmm. Uh, and miscellaneous fees, but uh, NAS is also a boarding school, right. so uh, we also have to uh, allocate uh, funds to house the uh, yeah. athletes and to provide for their daily meals. Um, right. And being student athletes uh, in, involved in training every day, the, the nutritional aspect is uh, one of the premiums we uh, we allot for. Uh, yeah. Plus, uh, of course, equipment uh, right. and uh, apparel for uh, yeah. for training and for schooling and educational material. So, all told, I would say it's in the range of about uh, 150 to 180 per year, um, somewhere in that range. Uh, we we are still in the process of uh, actually uh, itemizing this as well. With our scholarship uh, program, also as you uh, as we we discussed earlier, you could see that there there is still also a range with the numbers when it comes to uh, uh, per batch. So so we're quite happy with what has been allocated to NAS to begin with, both from its uh, capital outlay and its uh, uh, operating funds. But uh, as you know, uh, you know. That, that's one of the reasons why we decided to focus on eight sports to optimize this to be able to provide high quality and a decent yeah. quantity uh, instead of uh, uh, having too many and then watering down the standard uh, for for NAS. Um, Coach Bong, can you walk me through the recruitment process? For example, I'm 12 years old <laughs> and I want to get into the NAS. As right. let's say a swimmer or a taekwondo athlete, ano right. po yung, what's the process like and what's expected of me? <laughs> um, so uh, we don't really recruit, but we do invite. And right. uh, the invitation is open to all. And the program we have is uh, quite specialized. So it's called the nascent SAS. We chose the word nascent because it's like the uh, budding or the growth and development of a young bud. No? So uh, nascent is an acronym, stands for the NAS, annual search for competent, exceptional, notable and talented student athlete scholars or nascent SAS. You can find this on our Facebook page, uh, NAS System PH. And uh, the application for the New school year 2022 2023 is actually ongoing. Started January 12 and it will go until April 12. So it's a, a 10 stage process that uh, allows student athletes from all sports to uh, apply and, and qualify. Although we already mentioned that we have eight focus sports. Uh, and we have uh, teams of uh, admissions uh, officers that will be uh, screening the completeness of the application submitted and also the uh, uh, ranking to our uh, specialists in sport and also in our academic uh, divisions. So just like any school, you know, they, they send their application material to us. Um, there is no entrance exam. <laughs> uh, yeah. But uh, they are evaluated based on of both their academic uh, performance in their previous uh, grade six schools and also uh, especially their uh, sport performance and uh, background and their athleticism. Right. And then uh, when face-to-face -face, uh, 
interaction is allowed and you know it becomes lighter and we're able to travel more freely to the different regions of the Philippines, then we will actually be having a, like a caravan where, where our uh, coaches get to interact face-to-face uh, -face with the uh, applicants. For now, it's all uh, online and uh, so they submit videos and, and they can uh, inquire online and then they can send their documents to NAS. Is there any uh, talent ID requirement or uh, physiological testing for the um, recruitee or the yes. student apparently? Yes. What are these yes. tests for? I'm curious. Currently, it's just uh, it's the baseline uh, anthropometric and uh, uh, fitness uh, uh, health related uh, profiles. Mm -hmm. um, but we are in talks with the sport match of Australia to bring in the talent identification software and uh, algorithms that they've developed uh, with years of experience and years of uh, research and data. And right. we're in the uh, final stages of talks to bring in that very sophisticated program that will not only be a talent identification uh, tool, but it also yeah. is a talent development and counseling tool so that mm -hmm. they can uh, set proper goals, uh, developmental goals throughout their stay in NAS and we can monitor them and we can evaluate and, and improve on them uh, right. in the six years that they, they could possibly be in NAS. This year also, uh, for the first time, we are accepting uh, lateral entry in mm -hmm. grade eight. Uh, okay. Usually the entry is, the, the primary entry level is at grade seven. Okay, right. But uh, we have a limited number of slots now available for those who want who are grade seven and want to transfer and enter right. NAS at uh, grade eight. Uh, again, uh, the focus sports are there because uh, we want to uh, optimize our resources and contribute to the uh, programs that have very high potential in terms of lead that lead to the elite level. So the Olympics, the recent Olympics, is a very good uh, indicator of how the Philippines has this potential to excel in, yeah. in uh, elite sport, uh, especially in individual events. And if you yeah. go through a historical check of the different Olympics, back to Rio, back to uh, Beijing, China, uh, and uh, London, and even further back, you'll see that the eight uh, sports that uh, NAS uh, is starting with are uh, in, you know, aligned with how the Philippines was represented in those past uh, Olympics. And, and so, um, Ma'am Joy, I'd, I'd like to ask, so the student goes into NAS, and then what's their day like? What's the year like? And then what's the six years like? I mean, you know, what's the student life basically um, for these kids? Um. Okay, Theo, you know what? We are we are very excited, no? Excited kami that we'll be able to send all our students in, you know, in our newly constructed uh, campus. Um, yeah. uh, but of course, uh, alam mo naman, hindi naman, it's not easily said and done, no? It's, uh, yeah. uh, it, it really needs a lot of planning. And of course, even virtually, Theo, no? We, we, since we, since, again, going back to the mandate, no? Um, yeah. We have several missions. No, we have several missions that are really centered to produce well-rounded student athletes, and who will, of course, excel in their um, respective sports and be academically competent as well. So, I, I guess one one direction that we really want, Pio, you know, uh, you know, I, we we would really want to stress that NAS is not a training center. NAS is not a training okay. facility, but it is a it is a it is a school. It is an academy. Uh, in fact, um, uh, D.E.D. Bong mentioned that um, uh, it's a boarding school. So right. with that thought in mind, so our students are, you know, but boarding school, ano, talagang, yeah. uh, it's really under our care. They are away from their family. So we have uh, programs and services that uh, right now, no, virtual, virtually pa lang, meron kaming NAS away from home program. So, uh, but at least malang, we are also uh, engaging them already and preparing them how it is like to be to be in NAS, no? Uh, when they're away from their family. So ngayon, medyo dahan-daman 
dahan-dahan. It's not only educating the students, but we're also educating uh, the parents. So, uh, yung aming uh, questions dito, these are grade 7 and these are, um, uh, you know, age 12 to 14. And uh, it's about letting go of these kids and uh, yeah. giving them in our in our care. So, of course, uh, they will have their schedules. Um, most of the divisions, most, most especially core divisions of NAS, which is the support services, the athletic services, I mean, the sports science, and even the academics are really working very hard no, to, to come up with a very holistic uh, program for our school, uh, school kids, or, you know, the, the athletes. So, meron silang training. So typically, ito yung, uh, ito yung uh, uh, ano nila, typical day, they have training, morning, morning training, and then they have academics in between, and they'll have also training in the afternoon. No? But of course, uh, ito ay, um, this, this, is, um, uh, this is a, you know, it really depends on the, the sports, no? kung ano yung schedule yeah. ng training nila. No? And uh, so yun, so it's, we 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 have benchmark as APO, no? We have benchmark with Singapore and other um, uh, other uh, other institutes that are offering the same program as ours, and um, yun yun, no? We we learn from them, and this is kumbaga, We are also you know, pinapattern din namin yung schedule based on how what we how we you know the the things that we have benchmarked with, uh, kasi gusto namin ang standards din ng NAS is is uh, elevated, no? I mean um ganun of of international standards since uh, since uh, the mandate also is to provide world class facilities then we also have to provide to provide them also um, high quality sports program no and um, and since we are also producing world class uh, uh, students then we also need to equip them with a quality integrated secondary education and which covers you know uh, several um, assistance and services, no um, nutrition, proper nutrition. So lahat yan guided yan. Counseling, um, uh, you know, and of course, shempre injury prevention. So uh, sports science uh, support will also be there. Um, and shempre hindi pwede mangyari to ko hindi din mga professionals yung mga nanjan, no meaning. Um, uh, kagaya mo, sana makapag-apply ka sa NAS. <laughs> you, know, uh, you know, this uh, highly uh, caliber coaches that can really attend to the needs of our students. No? Kasi talagang gusto ko tutok sila. I mean, you know, and aral sila. Again, this is a school. I want them to study. I want them also to reach their dreams. No? Gusto ko they will also have a quality life after, after NAS. So, yun yun. Yun ang, yun ang preparations namin sa kanila. We want them to prepare to be world-class athletes at the same time preparing them to have better life after NAS. They have a career of their own. So union. So that's the that's the direction that we are heading to. And that's typically what they're preparing also, not only yeah. us, that, that the students are also there. Na, wow, they have to kailangan nila talagang uh, maging diligent and uh, responsible yeah. para ma-achieve nila din ito every year. So that's typically what will happen. Of course, we will improve. No? Uh, as curriculum will also enhance every, every grade level, then yeah. their performances has to, has to be elevated also as they, they stay in us. Um, speaking of what happens after NAS, um, what's the um, parang exit uh, after NAS? What are possible career uh, choices for these students. I'm thinking athletes. Kagad. <laughs> hmm. Oh, kasi, uh, unang una since uh, NAS uh, meron siyang integrated uh, special curriculum on sports, then they can go yeah. on coaching. They can um, uh, uh, ang tawag nito, actually, kung yung gusto nila na maging, maging professional athletes, they can still, you know, pwede naman yun, no? Uh, kaya nga ang meron kaming mga exit exit levels then that we will also be um, uh, talking to universities that are offering um, you know mag maganda ding mga sports program no so that they can continue no um, but again our dream pio uh, our dream pio is not only to make them settle uh, here in the national level syempre 
kung gusto nila dito, of course, no, wala. But we can also be open for some scholarships that can be granted abroad. Uh, kasi nga exposures ng mga students natin are really more of international competition. So hindi natin alam, no? Um, uh, Siyempre, hearing that NAS is uh, giving this kind of uh, program and uh, uh, giving this kind of program, so I'm sure we will also be known globally, which again, that is our, that's part of our vision, vision no? Para maging ano ka naman din kami. Uh, we will be um, a, uh, a leader also or ma-recognize ma kami globally. So that's the intention, no? That's the intention. So preparing them in the outside world, um, scholarship that will be granted from other universities, and even uh, in our, um, uh, you know, state U, you know, uh, yeah. state university here. Uh, so, yun. Kung gusto nila maging entrepreneur on marketing, sports marketing, why not? No, If that is right. really uh, their interest. Uh, um, but if they want also to pursue further studies, yeah. why not? They can do it here or they can do it abroad. So mga ganun, there's flexibility, but we are preparing them already for the future. Right. Yes. When it was actually floated, the National Academy of Sport, uh, the first thing that came to my mind was this was patterned with a Cuban system. Is there any truth to my assumption? <laughs> so, sorry, Pio, naging yeah. choppy ka sa akin? The, the first time I heard about the National Academy of Sport, I immediately thought that there was a lot of patterning uh, with the NAS, with the Cuban system. Um, is there any truth with that assumption? Yeah, yeah actually similar, yes. Uh, it, that, that can be, uh, that is uh, possible naman. No? Um, Siyempre ngayon, uh, we are all experiencing the learning curves, no? And um, siyempre ang gusto din namin, um, how to make things better. If there are opportunities that can be patterned, then why not, no? Uh, let's see on how we can uh, really manage things so that we can prepare them on certain pathways. Uh, again, we don't want to limit it. Uh, if there's something, if there's anything that that's more practical and doable, then then uh, we'll you know <laughs> we'll direct them to to that you know, to that direction and to that path. Uh, Coach Bong, I wanted to ask you also, what's what do you guys expect to see in the next five years of managing us? Champa, I think there are going to be birthing pains, but what's the short to midterm? with the National Academy of There are already birth pains <laughs> um, in our first year, but that uh, comes with the territory, so it, it's to be expected. Of course, the, the first five years, we have to establish NAS in its main campus, which is actually located in New Clark City in Kappa Starlak. Uh, so the campus is currently under construction. The first phase of uh, buildings include the academic building, the administration building, and uh, some sport facilities. So a multi-sport gym uh, right. complex. So that uh, will probably be completed by the first phase of uh, facilities will be completed by June of this year. And in time for us to be able to run a pilot face-to-face -face maybe in July, and then evaluate that so that face-to-face -face classes uh, may happen in when, when regular classes begin in August or, or in September. So beyond phase one, there's also phase two of infrastructure development. We have to build our own uh, dormitory uh, and also uh, sports science uh, facilities and additional sport facilities uh, for specific focal sports and uh, other equipment as well to equip the facility properly. And uh, we're, we're trying to invest heavily on IT so that uh, the connectivity of uh, the students allows them access to information, to uh, the bigger world out there, and also to keep them connected to their families, even in uh, other parts of the Philippines. Uh, we actually have one student from Saudi Arabia. So, <laughs> So to keep in touch even uh, yeah. overseas. 
So uh, we, we're looking at that infrastructure is one area of development. The framework we have for both academics and sport, and as mentioned by EDJ earlier, for student services is in place. And we are going to uh, see how the execution and the development of those three uh, programs are, are, are going to be in the coming three, four years as the students go from grade seven to grade 10. If you said five years, yeah. then that means there will be grade 11. Right. So we will see the uh, launch also of our senior high school program mm -hmm. and the uh, possible uh, strands and tracks that might come with that. As Edie Joy right. mentioned, we're not limiting our academics uh, exit when they graduate mm -hmm. from NAS to, to the exercise in sports sciences, but or physical education and coaching uh, science and technology but we are we're opening that, that opportunity for our students to to major in uh, universities in in areas that they they really have a passion for and, and have an inclination for uh, so the the we have a very good team uh, the the triumvirate that we have of uh, academics headed by dr malukura sports headed by uh, jana frankelli and uh, the student athlete support services headed by Pearl Managello, um, they, they work very well together. They're proactive. They have uh, put together the different processes for operations. Uh, right, right now, we are transitioning to be an attached agency to the Department of Education. So that, that covers a lot of ground administratively as well when it comes to human resources, to uh, finances, legal uh, and external affairs and linkages. Uh, we have started with, uh, as Edie Joy mentioned, benchmarking. Most of it was done remotely. So we have benchmarked with Aspire Academy in Doha, Qatar, with two institutes in Singapore, the Singapore uh, Sports uh, Institute and the Youth Sport Institute, with Australia, with uh, Spain, with Japan, and with the U.S. Sport Academy, Ball School, and uh, Mayo Clinic. And uh, as uh, bo borders open, we hope to have uh, better benchmarking activities face-to-face. Uh, -face. Right. You mentioned the Cuban uh, system earlier. Mm -hmm. And similar to that, the NAS is a state-sponsored high school. So right. just like in Cuba. So yeah. we benchmark both with the private uh, academies like uh, IMG Academy in, in the US, and, and, but also those that are state uh, sponsored like uh, INSEP of France and uh, those of Singapore. And we find, try to find the, the best uh, way to move forward with the combined experience of all these academies so that the next five years, the birth pains are not too difficult that we don't commit the same mistakes that, that they may have encountered, that we yeah. heard all those challenges by, by studying their best practices early on, and also right. those of our local uh, attached agencies. Uh, we have a very good relationship with DepEd, with the Philippine Sport Commission, with BCDA, with the POC, and uh, even the private sector that is represented in our board, so, right. and, and CHED as well. So, so we're learning from a lot of people who are specialists in their reg own regard and their own right and who have a lot of experience and background in uh, developing schools so that uh, we have a full plate covered for the next five years. We're going to see our students grow from grade seven to grade 11. I think the, the journey that you guys have had is very exciting. And I'm sure also on a personal standpoint, it's going to be very fulfilling yeah. to do something. Oh. I also want, I just want to add, no, from what, uh, if I may, no, I just want to add yes. from what uh, Boong mentioned, um, yeah. you know, having, having the, the, the things that he enumerated, no, it's, um, everything is really future thinking, no, so these are the things that, again, going, going to that direction. And because of this benchmarking that we, we have initiated with other countries, this will also, in fact, strengthen our international collaboration with them and maybe to a more like more institutions uh, that have similar, uh, you know, similar structure, similar system yeah. as NAS, no? Yeah. Um, and yun na nga din, yun nabanggit ko kanina, since we cannot really, uh, 
we cannot really cover all sports, then yeah. there's a, a chances also of an expand in expanding the NAS system to the dif to different regions. No, in fact, right. meron ng mga lumalap, uh, mal yeah. meron ng lumalap, no, uh, na that willing to be to be you know partner or so syempre we still have to set up some guidelines and policies on how we can really work with them uh yeah. but just just so uh pio any anyone who wants to uh be a uh, let's say a satellite a, a satellite academy it should really conform to what the nas system is because that's what right. you know it's mandated in the law eh? we cannot just yeah. uh um set up you know set up yeah. here set up there kailangan yeah. talagang ano yan cover dapat yan sa RA 11470 so yeah i, I think um siyan syempre no uh, since na, nasa tayong tatlo ay nasa academe naman din tayo talaga before we we really want to strengthen our research component kasi kakaiba to eh no itong um Itong we, we also need to invest on on research because itong mga talents na to, you know there's so many things a data you can we can really extract a lot of data from 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 you know from the not only limited to the physiologic performance yeah. but also in the you know, psychological yeah. It's right. going to be a long it can be it can, it can be a longitudinal research uh, study right. diba? so yeah. yes so there's a lot of things that can be done no so, kaya madami din talang mga interest people who wants to partner because they see the opportunity nakikita nila yung malaking opportunity sa academy but again uh, i hope you know the people who are very very willing to to collaborate with us should also be patient because uh, it by starting pa talaga eh. we are starting and growing and uh, we just want uh, to make things operationalize and institutionalize para pag dumating sila maganda na di ba hindi yung baka uh, papasok sila na medyo sa bugpa so gusto ko muna ng ayusin yung sistema uh, so that when we present also the the nas then it's it's a um, you know baka mas madami pa no overflowing pa yung uh, partnership and collaboration with other institutions and agencies totally could relate to that get the house in order first Yes. So right. it's easy Correct. to scale. It's easy to grow. Um, I, I don't know. Um, my, I don't know how you're going to take this question, but um, sports has always been political in the Philippines. <laughs> right? uh, I think in almost all areas of Philippine sport, especially that of a national level, um, sports has always been political, as we've seen in the last few months. Um, how how do you? Uh, how what's the aim of sustaining this program despite you know changing political administrations um syempre kayo yung pioneers eh. how do you set a so strong a foundation that whoever administration comes in hindi na yan mabubura uh, how do you intend to do that Pio, I, I know i'm not expecting this but i know it's coming <laughs> discussion is coming <laughs> okay. uh, yeah, uh, you know, siempre uh, sports. Alam naman natin pio sports is universal eh. At talaga ang daming gusto ng pumasok jan and uh, and we 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 are we are ready. No, we are ready to to be diplomatic about this. Uh, it's just that siempre ang ano lang is that we want to establish something na meron din kaming leverage. No, hindi lang basta again going back no um if they can support us right. budget wise if they can if they can um um agree or i mean masuportahan kami what what are the needs of of the academy yeah. no these are the, the these are just the leverage na kailangan naman namin eh uh, yeah. kasi uh, we don't want na uh, babagsakan kami ng sobrang madaming para oh i want this because you know i'm playing yeah. sports or whatever Pwede yeah. set up mo yan. So uh, yeah. we we just want to see it as a uh, like okay wait there's this is only the limited structure that we have this is the only limited space that was given to us. Yeah. But give us give us yeah. show us what you can then we can deliver. It's really mostly um, it's a give and take thing no. Um, give us a budget then we can no or give us a space then we will try to work it work it out. 
So but but of course syempre yung resources is up, isang isang ano din yan, no? isang uh, malaking malaking uh, issue din kasi maliit lang yung campus eh no but again um, politics kung gusto nila then papakita namin okay this is nas siguro ang, ang ang my strategy my strategy is to give them you know introduce the academy this is it if you want to expand then then give us the leverage to expand it. Ganun, no? uh, uh, give us provision uh, to expand. So, ganun lang. Um, hirap, hirap din, Pio. I, I know um, there are a lot of in influential people, but uh, of course, then we will, we will also give them a more like, ano, ano lang, uh, How's this? Uh, negotiations that will work best for the academy, but not always for their best interest, but what is really yeah. best for the academy. <laughs> so, so I, bong, I think, anything you want uh, to add? <laughs> yeah, bong, you might want to add. Thank you, Edie Joy. Thank you, Pio. Yes, everybody wants results, good results. Right? And in fact, one of our guiding principles is you know, achievement. You know, you, and and to, to do that, you really need courage because when you have the uh, most important uh, uh, times where decisions have to be made, you, you just have to uh, brave it and, uh, and, and, and make those key decisions as you go along. So we want to be, that's the importance of starting off uh, on the right foot, that uh, you want uh, good results but you prepare yourself to do them in such a way that they're setting you up for the future of even more uh, effective results. You know? So it's not just a one-shot uh, deal. And, and uh, through the political uh, landscape, you, you will see, and, and this is the nice thing about NAS, that the creators of, of the law that, that uh, launched NAS attached NAS to the Department of Education. No? And, and so education, as you can see, has evolved now to be the, the number one funded department of the, the national government. And if you look at the government plans, and it is also a hallmark and a legacy of this uh, current administration, that through the socioeconomic programs and NEDA, they, they signed in the ambition natin to 2040 which is a 25 year socioeconomic development plan. And education is the vehicle to making people uh, more productive, to realize the uh, growing uh, growth of families and the growth of uh, industry and uh, making them healthy and alert citizenry. So in the macro picture, you, you would see things uh, from a government's point of view in, in, in those uh, respects. NAS fits in very well into that because we are providing the opportunity for quality education as an attached agency of uh, the Department of Education and infused with a uh, specialized curriculum with sport. Um, sport, fortunately for the Philippines has also received some very good uh, developments. Um, uh, both in the local scene and in the international scene. And uh, aside from NAS, you, we actually have several bills being uh, moving along in Congress now that relate to an even higher level of uh, an academy or even a department of sport. So multiple uh, local government units will also be more empowered because of the Mandanas Garcia ruling that allows more of the uh, national uh, share, a bigger share of uh, national taxes to be uh, to go to the local government units. And so you see that more and more local government units are setting up sport complexes as well. Uh, that, that's part of their overall development programs, which you see in, uh, in first world countries that yeah. uh, the local government unit, units set up parks, outdoor activity areas, uh, sport complexes. So, so I think uh, one really good advantage is that NAS is an attached agency to DepEd and being uh, created by law, 
it, it will be part of the national expenditure program and the general appropriations act year in year out. So it's up to us to really show the achievements, the development, the re good results. And I think one very good indicator of that will really be our students. Uh, I think they will be our best uh, uh, showcase. Uh, provide for the holistic development of our students will, will really uh, showcase uh, how NAS is as, an, as a school and as an academy. So those are the probable directions also that uh, we, we, have, we will be taking in, in order to ensure that NAS continues to, to receive the uh, blessing of uh, the national government. Um, Ma'am Joy, uh, Coach Paul, thank you so much for your time uh, this morning. Um, I learned a lot and um, as a follower of sport and someone who cares deeply about sport, um, I really wish, you know, this project and you guys all the success, you know, possible and, you know, all, all the goals, I, all the benchmarks uh, you guys get to achieve. And um, I think it's a very positive development. Um, Coach Bong, you mentioned you say that this administration. Um, as I reflect, you know, of course, this administration is at its tail end. Um, as I reflect on Philippine sports in this administration, wow, um, a good Asian Games performance in 2018, uh, 2019, uh, a very good Sea Games hosting. No, uh, of course, our gold medal in the Olympics in 2021, and then of course the creation of the National Academy of Sport. So, in some ways. Um, I, I don't recall a government administration that's been very prolific in the sports sector as this one, maybe going back to Gintong Alay perhaps, but um, in modern times, perhaps I think this is the most prolific and um, most productive sports administration so far by any government. I think. And um, I just like to thank you guys for your time this morning. Uh, I know you guys are very busy. Uh, maraming salamat po for accepting my invitation and I hope that all Filipino sports observers, uh, sports scientists, coaches can learn from the lessons that we talked about today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Pio. Thank you so much. We appreciate also. Thank you. Thank you so much, Pio, for this opportunity to share uh, what we have in NAS and share more information about NAS. Salamat. Thank you.